This is going to be about recognizing the limit definition of the derivative. Um, on the AP exam, I, I would say like half of the multiple choice questions that involve limits are really just um, the definition of the derivative. So there's two different ways that you'll see it. Um, well, there's actually kind of three. And so the first one is uh, f prime of x equals limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Um, or you might see um, delta x instead of h. So um, f prime of x would be the limit as a delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. Um, or there's actually a third case here, um, which is really exactly the same as both of these. Um, sometimes you substitute in for um, x. So f prime of a. So this will, the answer here would be a number instead of a function. Is uh, f of, The limit as h approaches 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Um, so let's look at an example. So... We might want to evaluate the limit as h approaches 0 of tangent squared of the quantity x plus h minus tangent squared of x over h. So if you don't know that's the definition of the derivative, you might try to, um, I don't even know. Uh, you get an indeterminate form. You might try to do a difference of squares. Uh, you're probably in some trouble if you don't recognize this. So I do recognize it. So this is um, f of x is tangent squared of x. And all I'm really doing here is I'm looking for um, f prime of x. So I guess they think that finding derivatives is a little too easy, so they disguise the question. Um, but f prime of x would be 2 tan of x, and then by the chain rule, we're multiplying by secant squared of x. Um, so that would be the value of that limit. And if you don't recognize it as a derivative, uh, good luck. So let's evaluate the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 third plus h to the fourth minus 1 over 81 uh, all over h. And uh, I recognize that 1 third to the 4th is 1 over 81. f of x in this case is x to the 4th. So when you're doing uh, a multiple choice question, you see uh, some crazy power on a limit. Uh, they really don't want you to expand that using like a binomial expansion. They want you to recognize that it's actually probably the derivative. So f of x is x to the 4th. Um, so in this case, f of a, if I plugged it in, I'd get 1 over 81. So this is exactly the form of the derivative. So I'm going to find f prime of one-third, and f prime of x is 4x cubed, so f prime of one-third is 4 times one-third cubed, which is 4 over 27. Let's take a look at one more here. Um, so if I want to evaluate, the limit is h approaches 0 of, uh, this is one of my favorite tricks that you can do to disguise a derivative, um, and it involves using properties of natural logs. So I'm going to rewrite the limit. So uh, the natural log of a quotient is, uh, becomes a difference. So it's going to be the natural log of the numerator minus the natural log of the denominator, and then still all over h. So this I recognize is f prime of 3 for the function f of x equals natural log of x. And uh, I know that f prime of x in this case would be 1 over x, and therefore f prime of 3 is 1 third. And... Uh, there is the alternate form of the definition, and uh, this one almost always leads to a numerical value. So it's f prime of a is limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Pretty much when you see things that look like a slope formula and a limit involved, that's probably the derivative. Um, so, for example, we might have, uh, it, it allows you to do limits that otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to figure out. Um, so the limit as x approaches 3 of natural log of x squared minus natural log of 9 all over x minus 3. So I recognize that this is um, f prime of 3 for the function f of x equals natural log of x squared. And if I don't recognize that, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, if you know L'Hopital's rule, L'Hopital's rule would kind of save you here. But um, if you don't know it, you're doomed other than to recognize the derivative. Because if you recognize that, not so bad. So the derivative of natural log is 1 over u times the derivative of u. So 1 over x squared times 2x is 2 over x. And I'm looking for f prime of 3. So I get 2 thirds. And uh, that's how you can recognize the definition of the derivative and use it to evaluate a lot of limits. So good luck.